We're back with Stephen Egger, Pro Mobile Solutions here uh, for the, our last segment of the Pittsburgh Business Version uh, for today. Um, Steve, it's been said that 8 out of 10 small businesses fail. Uh, as someone that works closely with small businesses and is a small business owner, what do you think are the attributes? And blogs in- on GeniusMarketing.com for small <laughs> business owners. And, as a and it's written a book, The Marketing Coach, <laughs> yeah. that's available on Amazon, but he'd prefer that you buy it off of GeniusMarketing.com. Thank you. What's your advice? Uh, <clears throat> well, th- I think advice-wise, um, I would say uh, people going into business need to do their research. Uh, a lot of a lot of people uh, I've talked to that are business owners or want to be a business owner uh, have an idea, and um, you know a, a twenty second Google search shows you that it's it's not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> they just haven't done their research. Um, so I, that's always a piece of advice I give folks that are thinking about. I always laugh. I can't remember what I think it's a Fidelity commercial where the guy's playing golf with his client, and he says, I think we should, you should invest some of your money in this imported ice or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And the guy's like, I, I, why? Why don't we just ice? freeze our own water? <laughs> why don't we just freeze our own water? It'd be a lot cheaper. That's right. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's yeah. the kind of thing that happens. But yeah, you know, as far as attributes, I, I, I think persistence is probably the number one that, that you're, you're going to run into uh, roadblocks, hurdles, and you you got you to gotta push I, through them. I, I think there's two two things from what I can see, um, and, and we have these conversations. When I see, you know, we work here collectively as a team. You see someone in a rut. I, I agree with you. Pers- persistence. People get in ruts. I think it, mm-hmm. you just have to be determined. You know, that's where you got to wake up in the morning and think about why the hell am I doing this and get <laughs> focused again. Yeah. But um, and I kind of want to hear your opinion on this. We we live in a world of no. Like sell people that are not used to sales, they get really dorked up with like no's, right? You know, yeah. And, and where with me, I'm like, eh. and the old adage is, if you, if you get enough no's, you'll get enough yeses. Yeah. So uh, if you that, knew Christy, you know how much he gets no's <laughs> a lot. Uh, okay, we don't want to go there. <laughs> a lot. <All> right. <clears throat> but you're 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 exactly right. And I think the other thing that that um, that persistence will will do for you is keep you true to what you you want to be about yeah um i think one of the things that surprised me going into business was how many opinions i got some of them were really good but i think every business owner gets to a place where they're asked sometimes for money you know they'll they'll, they'll, we'll pay you to do this and you have to say you know what no we're doing this over here not not that over there and and um and so being uh, you mentioned focus being focused on what you want to do listening to people getting advice but staying staying on but at course. one point or another you got to you got to set the direction you let's gotta, start with you, a vision of where you yeah. know where, what yeah. does this thing you know need yeah. to look like or and, what is it and every business i think chases the market a little bit to figure out how they fit but um i i think all businesses face that point where someone comes along with another good idea and they have to decide are we going to be about what we said we were going to be about or, or are we going to go off in this other direction and and I've seen people go off in the other direction. And what about your own business? Well. What was the biggest aha moment you had? Um, I mean, you've had various different business. You know, yeah. as you know, things have sort of metamorphosed. Yeah, I think the thing that always has amazed me, um, and you know, I'm older now, uh, but is is how people accept the reality they're presented, and um, it and don't think outside the box, and so they do what they do. And what do you mean? They, uh, you, you just see paralysis. Yeah, like you said about being in a rut, um, yeah. in a in a negative way that 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 yeah, it, it just amazes me how people can get stuck and uh, and not see the big picture and not stay focused on on what matters. Um, for me, you know, I, I think it, it, that wasn't really an aha, but it it made me realize that that I need to be um, always thinking about the new thing. You know, I wasn't excited mm-hmm. about social media when it came out, but I had to learn about it. Oh, I it drives people me would, crazy. People would ask me, me about Bud's it. Bud's behind the camera. is like, you're not doing your Facebook. I'm like, I hate Facebook. <laughs> I got people sending me notes. I'm like, I don't even know who the hell this person is. Or I haven't seen you in 20 years. You know, yeah. like, also, you want to, you know, it's like, you're my but best that's, friend. But that's the reality. But, and, but and, it's reality. And, so you and either so you have to move forward with those things. So. You have to accept change. Yeah. So I think that was probably, you know, 
one aha for me was that 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 people are surprisingly uh, they don't get it they yeah. they don't they don't yeah. want to move forward so good sounds good well that uh will wrap us up for today steve i appreciate you coming in thanks for oh, taking thank the time you. to uh meet with us marketing in a downturn the marketing coach <laughs> GeniusMarketing.com. At GeniusMarketing.com. Buy it there, not Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon so. will be sending us emails. <laughs> um, <laughs> ProMobileSolutions.com. Uh, right. Seriously, check out Stephen. I, I, you know, I, before we um, uh, we we skedaddle off, QR codes. Yeah. This is this is um, this is kind of the the way things are going. I was kind of amazed because I went to Home Depot and they freaking have these things right on. Like even the plant, you scan it and it tells you everything you need to know about this plant you're about to buy, right? Uh, purchase for your garden. Yeah. Um, give us the thirty seconds on on, on QR, QR codes. Well, they they are the kind of the sexy topic right now. Yeah. Mobile marketing, 2011's big topic in in our space in our industry. Um, QR codes are simply an input device. It allows you to use your smartphone to to scan uh, that that. It's a 2D barcode, basically, yeah. and you can tie any sort of information to it. Um, and what we're doing at ProMobile is trying to help companies do it correctly because you will you scan a lot of codes and you just get a website that's built for a desktop. You can't read it. You can't, you know, the flash doesn't work, no video. Um, what we're trying to do is help people realize that they got to move to the phone because mm-hmm. people will always have their phone with them. They won't always have their laptop, their TV, or their newspaper, but they'll always have their phone. And you have to think about, and we've done a lot of research about how people use their phone and how they want to interact with marketing. And the QR code allows you to scan and, in our case, get just the information you want and then quickly move to a decision because that's what people want to do. They want to raise their hand when they want to raise their hand, respond when they want to respond. You kind of need to have these on a button when you're out at a bar if you were still single, let me add. (laughs) You could scan. The QR code. I can see Brad walking up to females. <laughs> Get a, a security to be called immediately. They're actually, they're actually five, our... 58, 125. Oh, that's all good, yeah. you know. Yeah, they're yeah. actually our personal yeah. codes. There's a company that does... We do, obviously, for businesses. A little but, freaking crazy. All right, I'm moving on. You know, that, that, that do that. and Because you can embed in contact information or other information. It doesn't have to be a mobile website like we do. Daddy um, issues, just not so. too many of them. You know, yeah. all that good stuff. <laughs> Or <laughs> plenty of room in the code to embed whatever you'd like. But we would prefer to put marketing in. I, I think the key learning is no matter what you want to put, if you're a, if yeah. you want to be up on the 21st century, This is the way it's going. This is see Steve, going. go to promobosolutions.com, uh, reach out. Uh, once again, Thank Steve, you. appreciate you coming in. Awesome stuff. Um, Great to talk to you At guys. our Zoo event, we'll have our, co- our codes up uh, to see the different uh, <laughs> vendors. But um, we're using them. You should, too. Check us out. Uh, watch the rest of the segments. Thanks for joining us. Today. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.